Good evening, everyone, and those who are joining us here in our worship service online. Welcome to our midweek worship service. Let us prepare our heart and mind as we come to the presence of God as we worship Him. Psalms 31, verse 7, and verses 23 to 24 says, I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. The Lord preserves those who are true to Him, but the proud He pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. heads and let us pray great and mighty God we are grateful Lord and thankful for your generosity in our life you're so generous that you have given your one and only son to die on the cross to save us from our sins that we who are sinners can come to you through Jesus Christ blood and that his resurrection granted us a hope eternal life with you more than that Lord you even gave us blessings in our life materially day after day Lord your grace has always been sufficient and so we are grateful Lord even in this pandemic situation 
you have been there for us. You have blessed the church, and the church has continued to share its blessings to its people. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to grow also into, into maturity during this season in our life. That no trial and tribulation is wasted, but every opportunity is taken for us to grow in the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we know and acknowledge your faithfulness that in the many promises in the Scripture, Lord, you have always fulfilled them and will fulfill them. And so we come to you, O God, in confidence, knowing that you will hear our prayer this evening for your people and for the, for the church. We pray, O Lord, for continuous financial provision for different ministries and even for the church building, Lord God, to continue its work, that you will continue to build us up, not just physically as its sanctuary continues to be finished, but deep within, Lord God, you build us up as a people, holy, set apart, mature, before you lord we even pray for our leaders here in the church that as the year would end you would grant them vision of the coming year lord god of what to do where to go and how to go about that we may follow lord your leadership in our church grant us unity as well within the body especially today and may you continue to to work together in our hearts lord that we be one and together growing as a community. Lord, we also continue to commit to you our nation with different calamities, flood, uh, landslide victims, and even those who have been a victim of the coronavirus. We ask, Lord, for your healing. We ask for your provision for them, Lord. May this be open doors for your word to enter into these people's hearts and be saved lord surround these people who have been victims of these calamities and diseases with people whose heart is is hungry to share to them the gospel that they may hear your word we pray lord god for wisdom and guidance for our leaders in our society our president our senate our congress representatives we pray lord god even for our mayor in cebu city we pray for them for wisdom and for unity that they can come together and help for the common good of the nation we pray lord god for a revival spiritually for our nation many of us lord god have uh, have been low spiritually because of this pandemic but lord help us find light in christ that there is always hope in you lord when we trust you revive our souls lord and strengthen us that we may overcome this obstacle in our life. Lord, we continue also to commit to you, our brethren, who are, whom you have given a gift of life. We pray, Lord God, for the uh, Kathleen Jane Akuhido for a healthy pregnancy and safe childbirth, O God. We pray that uh, you would also prepare the couple and their family, Lord God, for this next stage in their life. We pray, Lord, for our recovery and good health for our sick brethren, for Ati Vinos Villamor, Ati Victoria Ruela, Ati Ruseta Buot, Ati Laila Balioalio, Ati Chris Daniel Puracan, uh, Jr., J. Jairi Ezra, Kuya Robert Francisco, Ati Thomas Smith, and Ati Elizabeth Kaal, and even whose names are not mentioned here, Lord, who's member of your church, we pray, Lord God, for healing for them. We pray for their provision for their medical bills. I pray, O oh God, that you will allow them to recover and that they may respond in thanksgiving, in faithfulness, and in service to your glory. Lord, all of this we entrust to you. We cast out all our cares to you, Lord, knowing that you care for us. May you grant us the patience and the heart to wait for your response and to trust you lord all the way knowing that you know what is best for our life no no matter how difficult it may seem we know that you always look 
out for what is best for us. Thank you, Lord, so much that we can count on you, that your, your character is faithfulness, and you are full of love and mercy and grace. We entrust these things to you, Lord, through Christ's name, with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for this evening is found in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 to 12. And I would like to request everyone to please stand as we read. If you have your Bibles with you at home also, those who are watching, please open it with me. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 to 12, which says, Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. For whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to the prayer to their prayer but the face of the lord is against those who do evil may god bless the reading of his word please take our seats good evening and those who are watching uh, uh, live on facebook now the title of our message tonight is the world is watching the world is watching i know we want to keep our privacy in our life but uh, technically speaking, God can see everything. And I think we, we understand that. But would you want the people to also be watching your life? Would you want people to, to see your life? Uh, to, privacy is so important to an individual, but today it's totally different. Everything we do, we post in Facebook. Everything we do every day, we... we Put it live in Facebook. No? So, tana na itong nabuhat. Kita agad ito. And so many today, eh, kana, nagtanaw, no? everybody knows what's going on with people's life today through technology. Now, with that being said, as Christians, we are also in a stage where the world is watching us. They are observing us. And so, Peter here, starting in chapter 2, verse 11, started his uh, encouragement for believers to act in a way that is godly in the eyes of the pagan world, in the eyes of unbelievers, in the eyes of, of the world. And he talked about as a character, we have to submit. And he started with the submission of authority. So he shared that we are to submit to authority as that is a godly attitude uh, in the eyes of the world. Next, he also mentioned that we are to submit to our masters. And then, lastly, he talked about how to submit within the home in chapter 2, uh, chapter 3, verse 1 to 7. Submission. And here in verses 8 to 12, he is now concluding his word about the topic submission in the eyes of the world. So, kani atong hisgotan nga verses, it is actually a conclusion to his topic about living godly lives in a pagan society. Now, mind you, the situation during their time was a bit difficult. Why? When Peter encouraged them to submit to the authority, the authority during the time is the emperor by the name of Nero. And we know by, the, by history that Nero persecuted believers. They burned them to the, in the stake, they killed, and it was very difficult to be a believer during their time. And yet, Peter is saying, we have to submit. Now, he also mentioned that we are to submit to our masters. Now, during their time, the, the type of employment for some people, if you are not a servant, you are a slave. And a lot of Christians who were who, who became believers were slaves. And yet, Peter said, you need to submit even to the most difficult masters. Bisan pag 
maayo na or dili na maayo a godly way to 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 have a relationship with your master is through submission kung ato nang i-apply karon it's like employee to employer no? and we are to continue to submit and then he said submission at home why would it be difficult for 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 that to say because some people during their time ang wife ang na christian ang bana wala pa and i think makarelate dia punta ka na karon no dagan bata naka experience ana ang bana na christian ang wife wala pa so how do you treat each other you have to treat each other in submission and for the husband being considerate to the wife being considered to the wife. So, the attitude nga, gihisgutan ni Peter Dere is, is against a very difficult situation. It's against a diff very difficult situation and it's nothing new to us even today. We go through difficult situation again and again and even today during the pandemic, it's a, it's a, an opportunity for us to showcase what a believer is in the midst of a very difficult situation. And so he concluded those words. No, People are looking, CCTV, or the eyes of people are looking at Christians today. How do we react in a way where we continue to show a godly character in the eyes of the world? So since people are looking, we need to make sure and take advantage of that situation where we can attract them to God. While they are looking at us. Huh? And mumunay gusto na ito, di ba? Uh, unsa may gamit, anong mga nag-mascot? Sabi na ka ng mga mascot sa mga tindahan. Magsigil na sila lakaw-lakaw dito para makita sa mga tao. Ma-attract ang mga tao. Hala, unsa man inaadya. And now is an opportunity for believers because knowing that people are looking at who we are, we need to make sure that we attract people to God and my main thought for this evening is this. We attract people to God by how we treat each other. Sana to pagtrato ang atong mga kauban diri sa pagtuo. How we treat each other attracts people to God. So, three things I would like to share to us. How to attract others to Jesus Christ. How to attract others to Jesus Christ. Do you know that people are attracted to beautiful things? It's just natural where, where people are attracted or anything dali gyud ma-attract og nindot no kung nay flower nindot kayo unsa may mo attract sa flower ma, ma attract sa flower bees no dagan kung tamis gani mahog sa mahog sa kuan sa og unsa may mo attract umigas no umigas How about christians who do we attract we attract people to the lord so how to attract others to jesus christ and Peter shares to us three things. Our attitude, our response, and our motivation. Our attitude, our response, and our motivation. The first one is found in verse 8. How to attract Jesus, attract others to Jesus Christ? By my genuine loving attitude towards my Christian family. Diyan na ma-attract ang mga tao diya sa gino. Kung saan na pag genuinely love ang atong mga kauban sa pamilya, sa Kristuhanon nga pamilya. Notice here in verse 8. And this is what he said, Finally, all of you. So he is now talking to Christians. Kamu mga Kristuhanon, finally, all of you. Unsa man? There are four things nga yung gisgutan dere. Rather, uh, five things nga gisgutan niya as a genuine attitude on how we treat each other in the Christian family. The first one is this, Finally, all of you, be like-minded. Be like-minded. What do you mean, be like-minded? Uh, it means that we are to be in harmony, in unity with one another. Okay? With one another. Meaning, it means cooperation, not division. And these five things, by the way, can be summed up in the word love. If we love each other, we are in harmony with each other. So that's the first one he mentioned there. Be like-minded. He is not he's not saying we are to think the same way, no? Dili na mao because that is uniformity. Ako unsa ko unsa unsa ko ako paghunaw na inana pugang maghunaw na dali dili. But he is simply talking about 
thinking of the same things. Thinking of the same things. Not thinking the same way. Kailahilay magkita. But when we think of the same things, then we are united even though we think, the same, we think differently. And what should we... Th- what are what are our diversity as members of the of the Christian family? So may mga diversity nato. Uh, you know the way we wear our clothes. Daghang kaya tag pwede diversity. But unsa may atong unity? Well, we are united in our uh, core doctrines. Jesus Christ is our Savior. That we are to reach out to other people who are lost in the world. These are the things that we need to think together and be in harmony. No, be in harmony. Be in unity. Are we like that today with other believers? The opposite of that is division. Natay pa nagbugbuwag, iyahay ta. Especially dali ra kay magiyahay kung muaging kalisod. Ngano man. Ang musod sa mindset is survival of the fittest. No? Na koy problema diri. Bahala na mud but praise the Lord, during this pandemic, during this difficulty, our church has been united together. No? United and thinking of something in common. Helping people, helping members of the church. And that's what we want to see. And that's what actually attracts people to the Lord. Second thing he mentioned there. Not just be like-minded, but be sympathetic. Be sympathetic. And the word sympathetic here means that means suffering with one another no meaning you are entering into the suffering of other people the other uh, words you, we can use here is your hurt in my heart ang imong kasakit pero sa akong kasing-kasing meaning nibati pugo sa imong gibati no because during their time they're experiencing difficulty persecution uh, sa ilang masters gi abuso sila sa ilang home Pwede na chaos and na ikakagibati ng mga kasakit ba? And so, Christians during that time are encouraged to feel the same thing and being considerate. Considerate to the feelings of of others. No? Being sympathetic. Are we like that today with other believers? When other believers today are going through tough times, do we feel what they feel? Nibati ba po kasakit sa ilang gibati karon Or you are in that point where you are now dull or numb wa na kay gibati towards sa uban na tong kauban sa simbahan ban na pagtuo no karon daghan kayo gibati kalisod karon nabati ba pud na nimo ang ilahang giagian karon that is our genuine attitude we must be sympathetic the bible tells us that rejoice with those who rejoice and you what Suffer with those who suffer. I suffer with those who suffer. It's easy to rejoice when it's joyful. It's kaning area nga lisod. We lisod put kay ibati, no? And that's a challenge for us. Third thing he mentioned. Not just be sympathetic, but love one another. Love one another. And basically, that's being concerned with one another. And Peter was right, as Peter was writing this, perhaps what he had in mind is his own brother. No? Peter had a brother by the name of Andrew, one of the disciples. And who is Andrew? Andrew was the one who called Peter and introduced Peter to Jesus Christ. It was not Peter who called Andrew. It was Andrew. And yet Peter was the very known figure in the, of the disciples. But it was Andrew. It was because of Andrew that Peter met uh, and introduced Peter to Jesus Christ. There was great concern in his heart and that should be the same concern we have for one another because loving one another is an indicator of being saved by jesus christ if we love one another that's an indication that we are truly saved by our lord jesus christ so love one another no being concerned cooperation being considerate to the feelings of others and being concerned with others the fourth one he said there is compassion be compassionate and basically that means tender hearted no? tender hearted now that word uh, compassion uh, ang, ang greek term niya is kanang about sa atong intestines and i think we've heard that again mentioned here during sa atong mga wali no kanang 
ang atong gibate diri gyud gikan sa tinai ba no uh, splanknon that's the word gikan sa tinai because we back then they believed that the the deepest part of your emotion is naa sa imong tinai so ay mo anang kuyawan ta unsa may batiyo na to kuyawan ta murag maglain nimong maglain nimong tiyan no and that's the same word here use we must have compassion no compassion a deep feeling of love for each other a deep feeling of love for each other and lastly he mentioned there be humble be humble be humble with one another a humble spirit means that we look for each other's interest first before our own needs unahon na to ang unsay maayo sa uban natong kauban sa pagtuo kaysa sa atoa now if you put this all together these five qualities these are very effective means to attract people to god and we might think that the the way the best way to attract people to god is through our lights through our music through our sa pa uh, mga through, through our church nga dako kayo dako kayo cross dito makita nindot kayo suga nindot kayo nindot kayo atong advertisement but the truth is the best way to attract people to the lord is when they see people within the church loving each other because that people are naturally attracted to beauty skip hitzig a preacher said humility is the grease that keeps the gears of relationship runs smoothly that's very wonderful jesus also said in john 13 35 all people will know that you are my followers if you love each other all people will know so if you want to people to know that the people who go to this church are followers of Christ all we need to do is genuinely love each other with our genuine attitude of loving each other tinud anay na attitude that's what attracts them to this church second second our gentle response now in verse 8 it's all good and well kay mga maayo man to nga mga attitude be be compassionate loving one another be humble nindo to but what about when you are treated differently ang pagtrato na nimo is bati bati na ang pagtrato sa imo ha and that's where verse 9 comes in verse 9 tells us that we are to be gentle in our response towards our enemy so first point is we have to be uh, genuine loving attitude towards our Christian family. Kani, unsa may respond na to towards my enemy? People who are not nice to you. Are there people in your life that are not nice to you? It could be people outside the church or even within the church. Na mga pinagbikil po sa simbahan. No? That's a reality. So how do we respond to these people? Verse 9 tells us, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because of this, you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. So response, do not repay, repay. Response nimo. The first action is you are treated with insult or injury. And our response must be of a gentle spirit. No? Gentle spirit. Now, Warren Worsby illustrated our our christian response our uh, our response to different people who insults us in three ways to look a level according to warren Worsby. and what are these level the first level is this the satanic level ang satanic level which we don't want in the way we respond the satanic level he said is this we can return evil for good Ulian ko nun nato daotan ang maayo. Now that's the satanic level. No? Ikaw pa gipakaon, imo pag yung gipuspusan. <laughs> that's the satanic level. We don't want that. Huh? That's what that's how that's how the devil works. Okay? Uh, Proverbs 17:13 reminds us, if you repay good with evil, evil will never leave your house. Now, that's a very uh, important warning. Kung imo ko nung ulian ang maayo o daotan, 
ang daotan yun kano will never leave your house. And that's the satanic level. The second level, he said, is this. We can return good for good and evil for evil. Sounds, good. Sounds okay? Good for good, evil for evil. More mag-fair up pastor. Kung maayo siya nako, maayo po ko niya. Kung daotan siya nako, daotan po ko niya. More patas raman. It might sound fair, but that's the human level. That's the human level. Return good for good. Now, when you say good for good, the focus there is to yourself. Maayo man siya na ako, naman ko yung nakuha niya, maayo po. No? Manayon na lang, butan man ko nga amigo. Ayaw lang yung gugawaya. <laughs> evil for evil. And the Bible tells us in Matthew 5, 44 to 47, uh, 46 to 47, tells us, if you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagan do that? So he, Jesus is referring, kanin mga ingunani nga kinahiya, tax collectors, pagans, sinful people, these are the attitude of the human nature. And that's not what we want also. No? And I, sometimes that word, that, 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 uh, part of the Bible we say eye for an eye is taken kanang uh, uh, misunderstood the Lord allowed that uh, principle to have so that there will be justice walay mo subra o panimaos ba that sometimes gigamit na nga igo kung ba ta igo pugas akong kupo but we want to go beyond the human level and go to such a point where we are like the divine level. Because the human level, an eye for an, uh, good for good, evil for evil, is just typically how people would do them. No? And can you imagine? I, I, do you remember when, when uh, Peter, Peter, they were about to be arrested during uh, one night when Jesus was about to be arrested. On sa may ni Pedro? Hapit na siya ginakop, hapit na ginakop si Kristo, bunot siya. Saan to? Sundang. No? Sword? Gitigbas niya ang mudakop ni Jesus Christ. May gani kay mangingisda si Pedro o di siya soldier. Kay kung soldier pa to siya, liog mo yung ego ato. May gani, di kayo kamao si Pedro kay mangingisda. Doon ganoy na kuha. And what did Jesus say? Put it down. He who lives by the sword will die by the sword. No? We cannot re God doesn't want us to repay good for good and evil for evil. What does He want? Level 3, the divine level. And what is the divine level? The divine level is we can return good for evil. Uli anatog maayo ang daotan nga gibuhat. Uli anatog maayo ang daotan nga gibuhat. And this is the, the person that is our great and perfect example for this kind of attitude is Jesus Christ himself. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 21. Romans 12, 21. Now, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, uh, probably you're saying, Sayon Pastor, yes. <laughs> that is easy said, done, done. But we don't, but our goal is to follow Christ. And so our attitude may, may, should be like that of the divine. That's why, we, that's why we call it a godly character, not a humanly character. A godly character. Verse 9 tells us, Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. And that word blessing is the word uh, we use kanang na mamatya, no? Eulogy. Ayon sa may buhaton, ug na eulogy. Sulti ka og mga maayo nga butang. No? Sulti ka mga maayo nga butang. Repay evil with blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. And this is what separates the Christian faith in any other belief system. Because in the Christian faith, we are told to love our 
enemies. To love our enemies. To speak well. So, man na, pastor, nga, overcome evil with good. So, when people speak bad about you, what do you do? Duhara mag para mo baos. Either mag, or ana. <laughs> Duhara mag So, you speak well and do good. Instead of speaking bad and be vengeful. Speak what is good. Sa may maayo aning tawhana nga pwede na kong masulti. No? Kay kung masakitan ra bata, o sa may sagan ma, ang bati gud sa tao mo atong unang ma kitan. No? Mangita gud tagapan. Bisag wa, mangita gud tagapan. Kay gano man, sakitan man ka sa iyang gisulti. No? And it hard, sometimes Satan will tempt us to harden our heart to the people who hurt us. So, ay namuhana ka ng nagsakitan ka, namurag ligahe mo kasing-kasing, mugahe po na yung kumo. <laughs> yan naman, gusto yung kumo, tabla, 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 yun eh. Na tabla, tabla, that's the human level. Imagine Christ. It may be difficult, yes, but it is godly. When Christ was crucified, He said, forgive them for they do not know what they have done. In the greatest of pain, Christ is able to repay evil with good. And when you do that, you are following the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kinsa man ang nakapasakit ni Mukaron, Ikzoon. Naaba. Pagpamuta na ako ato, nisun na ng pangan, ugnaw nga ng tawahan na si mong unauna. If you're honest with you, kibaw ka nasakitan, yung ganaan na si mong unauna. No? And perhaps you you need to do good. Say good things about that person. No? Do not be overcome with evil. The third, not just by our a genuine loving attitude toward our Christian family, ma-attract sila, but also to our gentle response to our enemy, ma-attract na sila, matinga sila, ganong inaani man ni sila eh? no? There's something strange and unusual, and that's what we are called by God, to be strangers and foreigners in this world. Matinga sila, lahi mag sila mga tawana, ganong inaani man yun ni sila, nindot lagi ni sila, and it attracts them. And the third, is our godly motivation towards our destiny. Our godly motivation towards our destiny. Peter, iya pang ipakusgan, he strengthened his case on why we should act this way by quoting uh, Old Testament Psalms chapter 34. So, kaning verses 10 to 12, this is actually found in Psalms 34, verses 12 to 16. In verse 10, he said, For... Or because, for or because, meaning, do this and do that. Buhata to, ang ipasulti niya ganiya, buhata na, because, for, unsaman, for it is written. Isuwat na ni Daan, Psalms 34, it is written. No? He quoted Psalms 34, and unsaman yung ipasulti niya, they forever who would live life, and so good days, must keep their tongue from evil, and lips from deceitful speech. And verse 11, they must turn from evil and must speak peace and pursue it. Nganong buhaton man ni mga butanga? So, ang motivation, ang iyang gisgotan rin. Atong motivation, nganong buhaton na ni is, is godly. Nganong ang uban, magbuhat, magmaayo aning ubang tao. Kay personal, may ilang motivation. Maayo man ang balik. Ilang motivation, personal. Nga nung mubawas man ko ano niya, nga man, personal yung motivation para to appease his own heart. Kabawas ko, mag-appease. But ang gihatag ni Peter during a motivation is a, is a godly motivation. On man, there are three, starting in verse 2, ah, uh, verse 12 rather. It says here, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. For the eyes on the Lord is on the righteous. Buhata ng mga butanga, ingon siya, kay ang mga mata sa Diyos, nagtanaw sa mga matarong, the Lord notice the righteous. Kana ang imuhang gibuhat, kita ang ginawa na. No? God is not blinded by the good things that you do. Even though people cannot see you, or 
uh, not appreciate what you have done, God is counting every righteous deed that you are doing. Hindi tayo, ano? God took notice. Meaning, attentive ang ginuo sa mga binuhatan nga matarong. And sometimes, masayang, masayang ang tingalita, but don't be. Because the most important eyes that we want to see or righteous acts is the eyes of God. Second motivation, he said, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and His ears are attentive to their prayer. Oh, you don't know? Dili lang lang yung mata mo yung nagtanaw, notice, but yung dunggan. No? Nagapaminaw sa mga matarong. The, Lord's, the Lord hears the righteous. Even if you are going through persecution, difficulty, no? Katong nabakay, naibay ni persecute ni mo, na iniinsulto ni mo, God hears your prayers. God hears your prayers. And so, it should motivate us to live that kind of life. No? The third here, he said, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. What's our third motivation? It was our destiny. The Lord is against the wicked. Whatever the situation may be, God will always be just and will always be against the wicked. That's why we never take vengeance into our own hands. Dili na to, dili, dili na to, sana, sana, let's not put the law into our own hands. Dili tapang ni Maos, kaya nga naman. Iba mo man ta, ang God is on our side and will always be against the wicked. Notice in ver, chapter 2, verse 23 of First Peter. He said, when they hurled insults, when they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. Iyang gisalig samahan. And kita po, ato pong isalig dia sa Diyos when, when we are treated badly by different people. Atong isalig sa Gino, ikaw na bahala na Lord. No? Ayok yan po, Lord, may tagmaligsan siya, Lord. <laughs> no? But we entrust that to the Lord. Let the Lord just uh, judge fairly, knowing that He will always be against the wicked. And that motivates us to live that kind of life in the eyes of the world. In the eyes of the world. Now in verse 10, I would like to go back to verse 10. Peter said here, Whoever love would love life and see good days. Kinsa to ganahan sa kinabuhi o gusto makita o mga maayong adlaw sa umaabot. Ganahan baka na? Do you love life? Would you want to see good days? Then we must have that kind of uh, mindset in us, of our attitude towards our Christian family. Our response towards our enemy must be good. And our motivation must be kept in our heart. The Bible tells us in Matthew 5, 11 to 12, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. There is great reward. There is great return for our uh, repaying evil with good. Na ay na isukli ang ginoo dili sa atong kinabuhi. And unsa man na, life and seeing good days in our life. And more than that, there is also reward in heaven. And so people, Christians today, we must take this opportunity with all uh, people watching us, our behavior. You know, they care more about how we behave with each other than what we say to each other, what we say to them. They want to see genuine love within the body of believers. So again, how to attract others to Jesus Christ? We can attract others to Jesus Christ by our genuine loving attitude towards our Christian family. We can attract Jesus Christ by our gentle response towards our enemy and by our godly motivation towards our destiny in the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Beware. Guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Let us now present our tithes, pledges, and love offerings to the Lord. For those of you watching us on Facebook, if you want uh, you to give your tithes, pledges, and love offerings, uh, you can either uh, send it through a bank transfer or remittance centers, or you can call the office and arrange uh, for you to, sh to give your pledges and love offerings. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for being gracious to us, providing us of our everyday needs. You bring back to you, Lord God, a portion of your blessings to us, knowing and acknowledging that all of these things that we possess today belongs to you. Help us, Lord God, to be generous in others who are in need, that we may follow in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus Christ. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we all stand and sing our last hymn? God, thank you, Lord, for even in persecution and difficulty, we can still continue to worship you and praise you through our character. Help us, Lord God, to attract people to you, Lord, by genuinely loving each other within the family of believers. Help us, Lord God, to gently respond in love to those who do us evil and so follow in the character of Christ. And I pray, Lord, that in our heart we'll always be motivated that knowing that you are uh, looking out for us, hearing our prayers, and you are always against the wicked, that we may live righteously before you and before others. As we go out of this place, Lord, may your grace and mercy be upon our heart, and may we share Jesus Christ to others who are lost in the world. May your guidance and protection and provision be upon us all also. And even those who are watching and joining us online, may you bless them, Lord, on hearing this word and allow them to grow in the likeness of your Son. And now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, the only God, our Savior, the majesty, glory, power, and authority for Jesus Christ our Lord now and forevermore. Amen. 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 
Ein Gebet.